Hello everyone, my name is Greg Markowski. I'm the course director of the Master of Mathematics program here at Monash University. And I'd like now to tell you a little bit more about our program in case you're interested in applying. So I, I presume that if you're watching this, you already like mathematics and believe that it's important. Uh, certainly I and, and my colleagues believe that mathematics is one of the most important things in the world. Uh, we believe that it's sort of its influence pervades our entire society, whether it's the sciences, engineering, industry, etc. If you were to come and study with us, uh, we would have these main objectives that we're, we're hoping to accomplish with you. Uh, first of all, naturally, you'd, you'd be asked to learn a range of advanced mathematical skills. Um, we have many of the top researchers in, in the world here at Monash University, and you would be exposed to some of the best researchers in whichever field you would be choosing to focus on. And finally, uh, we, we would want you, by the end of your degree, to develop independence so you can sort of go out and create your own mathematics out in the world somewhere, whether you go into academia or industry or government. Uh, whatever you do, we want you to be able to, to do things on your own and, and be independent. Uh, there's a number of features of our program that I would like to highlight. Um, we have what we call free choice of units. That is to say, we, we have a great deal of flexibility within our program. Uh, you don't have to focus on one particular field. We can um, adapt whatever your interests are and your background is into a program that really fits you. We have a lot of flexibility in, in our, our choice of, of, of units. Um, we have a large spectrum of mathematics covered by, by our, our lecturers and professors here at Monash University. Um, really, the, the, main, the bulk of modern mathematics is covered by, by, the, by the units that we teach here. Um, we do have this AMC summer school as well. This is a, a one month summer school every January. It, um, it is not always at Monash University, in fact, it rarely is. It's usually, it's always at some university somewhere in Australia, but the university it is moves around each year, uh, which, which provides a great opportunity because it gives you a chance to go somewhere else for a month and to study and to, to meet people and make connections. And um, this has been a great experience for, for, the, for the, those of our students who've, who've participated in it. Um, we, part of the degree, an important part of the degree, is the, the final project. Uh, so this is what we call the project unit. This is a one semester project, which is done um, in, in, under the supervision of one of our, our researchers, but it sometimes is, is also um, in collaboration with an industry partner. And this is basically a, a, a project on an advanced topic um, that your, your intention is to become an expert on. And so at the end of the semester, you're, you're, you're required to produce a report, which you um, are then presenting in front of, in front of your peers. Um, we're still a relatively young program, so we don't have too many graduates at this point. Um, but those, those of our graduates that we do have um, have gone into a variety of fields. Some of them have gone on to do a PhD after, after finishing our program. Uh, some have gone into teaching, many have gone into industry, business, so forth. And finally, uh, a new feature that we have, we have what are called top-up awards, uh, which we are able to give to outstanding applicants. This is a bit of a financial reward, which uh, takes some of the pressure off you uh, for your tuition fees and so forth. Um, and this is available for those who sort of um, are judged to be in the among the top of our applicants. In our department, we essentially divide mathematics into three main sub-disciplines. And most of our students focus in one of these sub-disciplines, although not all. Some do uh, a final project, for instance, which kind of straddles two of them. But the three main sub-disciplines are as follows. The first is pure mathematics. So pure mathematics is the mathematics that you can do on a whiteboard. Uh, algebra, analysis, etc. cetera, the, the list of, of topics that you see here. And these are basically the theory which is behind um, all of mathematics. So even if you're, if you're doing something that's applied, it generally has a theory behind it. And the theory is what pure mathematics covers. The next, which I've already mentioned, is applied in computational mathematics. So this is mathematics based on uh, particular problems. Many of them come from industry or from science, engineering. Uh, many of them come from medicine even. You see here a picture of uh, a scan, a medical scan. And many of these problems require some advanced mathematics. They also generally require a computer. So the, as the name suggests, applied and computational mathematics is often done on a computer. And you would sort of have some applied problems. You'd be running simulations and essentially solving these problems uh, 
with the use of a computer. And the final field is statistics. This is actually the field that I work in. Um, and this is a, a sort of a, a bit of a combination of the other two, or it lies between the other two, where there are, is a lot of theory and there's also a lot of real world applications. So um, statistics and probability deals with any problems that involve randomness or uncertainty. Um, this has become a big topic, as, as you may have heard, in finance, but it's also a big topic in biology and physics and a number of other fields. Now, students who come into our program will be starting at one of three different places. And essentially, your background is going to determine where you start. So for those of you who have a minor in mathematics or equivalent, and what we mean by this is that you've done some mathematics, but maybe it wasn't your major as an undergrad, would be starting at entry level one. And in entry level one, this means you're going to be doing two years full time with us or four years part time. Now, um, the first year and a half, essentially, will be consisting of taking classes. The first semester will be taking advanced third year classes at Monash University. So our feeling is these are the ones that you maybe would have missed out on because you weren't a math major. So you'll be essentially, you could think of this as completing a math major here in your first semester. Then following that, you'd be doing another year of classwork, which is sort of our, our master courses. And then you would, your final semester would be the, the project that I mentioned before. Okay. Entry level two is if you did a bachelor's degree in mathematics, but you had mathematics as your major. So in this case, we now assume you've done these more advanced math classes, these third year math classes, and you can sort of bypass those and jump right into the master's uh, units. So you'll be doing, in that case, one year of, of uh, classwork, and I'm speaking now of one year full time. So if you're doing part time, then you would be doubling these numbers. But if you're going full time, you'd be doing one year of classwork and then you would be doing, again, the final semester uh, project. And then entry level three would be if you have um, already done honors or, or possibly masters in mathematics, depending on what country you're from. Um, in that case, you'll be doing one year full time with us. The first semester would be just classwork. And then the last semester, again, would be the final project. Um, most of our students come in actually at entry level one. Quite a few come in entry level two. It's, it's rare, but it does happen that they come in at entry level three. That's it for today. Um, I hope that if you have any questions, you will not hesitate to contact me. Uh, here on the screen, you can see a number of links. We have a link to the um, website of the program. We also have my email address and another email address that you can get more information um, about our program at. Thank you, and I hope to see you all sending in your applications sometime soon.